Welcome back to the How to Beauty series for new international students. This time, we're going to be talking about safety and transportation. Although Springfield is a very safe city, we want to make sure you know some of the resources available to you. Missouri State has an awesome shuttle service that takes you around campus. Shuttles run from 7 a.m. and there is even an evening route that goes downtown until very late at night. Shuttles are running every 5 to 10 minutes so you can be on time for your classes. Let's watch Adriana and Rashad take the shuttle and explain to you a little bit more about the service. Hey Rashad, what are you doing? I'm just trying to find the shuttle. No, no, no. You have to download the app. With the MSU app, you can see the actual movements of the bear lines. Oh. Where they're at, where they're going, and then all the different colors. This is really helpful when your your battery yeah. runs out or something, but this is this is a lot better. Yeah, definitely that'll do it now. Yeah, and with the app you can also look at your schedules, look at the emergency services, your account balance. Awesome. Really nice. Thank you for letting me know. Yeah, of course. This is Greer Park North and this is the place where students go to the shuttle and go to the place they want to go. So why don't we try? Yes, as you can see the, the bus stop uh, under all these signs that say where the bus will go next. So this one will go downtown. Let's try it. Let's try it together. Alright, so if you ever feel lost, don't hesitate to ask our drivers where they're going. They're super friendly and they're here to help you. Shuttles are great, but there are other ways to get around campus. You can drive your car to school. To park your car on campus, you must get a parking permit. You can purchase your parking permit at the Office of Safety and Transportation on campus or online. To purchase it online, visit your MyMissouriState.edu page. Parking passes are color-coded. You'll have to specify if you live on campus or off campus. Different lots have different colors, and you may only park in the lots that have the colors assigned to your parking permit. You may also select between the following options. Fall, Spring Permit, Annual Permit, and Summer Permit. For more detailed instruction on what lots are each color, you can always check the Missouri State app. After having a parking permit, you can park your car without worrying about it. A lot of people ride their bikes to go to work, to go to school. Oh, even our director of international services riding his bike right now. Also, if you don't have a bike, you can always rent it from the Green Bike Program. Like Rashad just mentioned, we have the Green Bike Program. The Green Bike Program is a bike rental program facilitated by the Residence Hall Association. For more information, click the link below. So don't hesitate to ride your bike or walk anywhere here at Springfield. Springfield and Missouri State are committed to making the city a pedestrian-friendly environment. In addition, Missouri State has bike roads across campus to make sure our students feel safe riding their bike to class and walking. We're always looking out for you. If you want to know more about SGF yields, please visit the link below. There are other ways for you to get around the city. Missouri State offers a Saturday shuttle during the school year. You can ride to grocery stores, the mall, and food markets. Also, if you don't have a car, don't panic. Springfield has public transportation like the city bus, taxi, Uber, and more. For more information on all of these services, look at the guide which will be given to you a new international student orientation. So today I parked at Bear Park North and I want somebody to walk with me. So I'm going to call Public Safety through the Missouri State app. Hello, can I have a safe walk uh, to walk to my residence hall, please? I'm at Bear Park North. Thank you. If at any point you need help from one of our safety and security officers, you can call the number on the screen or push the blue button on one of our emergency phones on campus and someone like Officer Brown will come help you. Is there any chance someone can walk me to a rec center? Yeah, we'll be happy. Where are you at? I'm at uh, Bear Park North. Where are they? Uh, nearby the bus stop there. By the shuttle stop? Exactly, yes. Okay. They're on the inside of the garage? 
Yes, inside the garage right now. Okay. I'll be happy to send someone to meet you over there. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Bye. Uh, what I think I'd like you guys to know most about uh, the Office of Safety and Transportation and the public safety officers individually is we really are here to help you. Um, we want to make your experience um, safe and enjoyable. And please don't be afraid to, to say hi to us, reach out to us, ask us for help. We're just a good resource for you on campus. So please just don't worry about, um, don't think about bothering us. This is what we're here for. We're here for you and to help you. I always encourage students to get involved in any education programs through safety and transportation. Um, the SHARP course, which is Sexual Harassment and Rape Prevention, which is a, a self-defense class that you can get to through uh, Foster Rec. Um, and also the Run, Hide, Fight program. You can sign up through that, uh, for that through Majors Health. Uh, we do that throughout the semester, uh, both in the fall and in the spring. All right, guys, that's it for this video. We hope it was helpful. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask us. We'll be more than happy to help.